Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 98 of Direwolf20 Server Play Series. Today, I've come to a decision. Hopefully one that you guys are okay with. I'm gonna move again. Pause for effect. Alright, um, we've gotten to the point in Minecraft where we have so much stuff in one area that, like... There's lag from all the things. Putting a wrench in my hand, lag. Uh, placing blocks, lag. Not so bad now, it's mostly fixed, but like item conduit placing in the world, lag. Like, there's just so much that's going on in the chunks right around this base that lag, frame rate lag for the most part, is becoming an issue. Um, so it's come to my... I've come to the point where I've decided that I really should move again. Uh, we moved away from the old base to get away from all the lag, and then we had to move again. Um, but my goal... So, T-Love moved us last time, and he built a beautiful castle. That's all fancy and cool. Um, but it was tight fitting all the stuff that we want to have. Not only was it super tight fitting all the stuff that we had, it was also um, lots of facades, lots of uh, all kinds of stuff that... You know, whenever you switch wrenches, like it unhides and rehides. There's a lot of cleanup work that needs to be done since we switched our old system now that we've got refined storage. So my goal is if we create a brand new base, maybe even in a void world, we could have a super efficient base. Like, I always get to this point in the series where, like, I've built so much stuff out of necessity that I get to the point where I just want pure efficiency. And I want to have it, like, just... Perfect automation, perfect cleanliness, just epicness all around. That's kind of where I've gotten to in this series, and that's what I would like to do. So, without further ado, uh, you, sir, should be not making tree taps. What are you doing with a tree tap in there? Get out of there, tree tap. You should be making a hoe. Hello, crafting? Ah. Yeah, that's why. I was uh, troubleshooting some lag issues that I was having. So, I think that's what we're going to start working towards. So, one of the first things we're going to work towards is getting the dimension that we're going to have in. Then we're going to get into building the base for the dimension. And I want to do as much automation with that as possible. So, automatically building out stuff would be super cool. Uh, I'm going to use the builder from RF Tools, I think would be the way to go. And then um, we can move stuff over and pretty much get all this as perfectly, perfectly efficient as possible. Meanwhile, Soren, what are you doing? Uh, I'm remaking the... You should see under there. I'm remaking the circuit. Again? Um, well, we're going to be testing the bundle bio later. I see. So I'm remaking that. But I mean, the circuit works again. Yeah. You should see it. It's on the lock cut. It's in the ceiling. All right, so you redid. I think I looked in here at some point. Yeah, you put everything on the ceiling, right? Uh, yeah. I think I looked in there last episode when you weren't here, and I said, "What? Did he redo it all again?" <laughs> so we found a bug with it when we did this. Uh, this internal circuits don't yeah. rotate when you rotate the outer circuit. Ah, well, that makes sense. So there was a little happy little caveat. Can, that we can you rotate the internal circuit somehow? No. You have to take it out. Just take it out and put it back in? Take it out, rotate it, then put it back in. Ah, I see. That makes sense, yes. though. I mean, I could, I could totally see how that would happen. I think he's crazy so, for having circuits on circuits. I think that's insanity. That's, yeah. That's just pure craziness. And soon we'll have bundled I.O., so we'll be able to just have a nice little inline system here. Yeah. I'm just working on each individual component right now. Hamadorna says it's fixed in RC4. So is this it's your grid network or is this mine? This is mine. Oh, okay. Sweet. So I just uh, I just let my my audience know that I'm going to be moving again. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm hoping that there's not a lot of comments along the lines of Dyer, I hate you. Why are you moving again? Oh well, there's gonna be those. 
Yeah, no, there's, good. there's definitely going to be those. I mean, this castle is moving? cool. Yay! My problem, the castle's nice, but it's really a little bit tight. Like, it's it's that cross between making a nice-looking building and having enough space to put all the machines that you want to put. That's why I'm going to avoid the baby. ladders. <laughs> huh? The ladders are hard. Uh, noon is the... I can't go up and down easily in the space you have. Yes. So here's the thing. We're going to need Mark II of most things. So I'm getting started with what I'm going to need for this. We're going to need you, you, you. Um, by the way, McJD said he was going to totally hook me up with that automatic thingy that I want. So noon needs Mark II, that thingy, and a little eye thingy. I'm guessing the time controller? Yeah, that's what I want. Totally want the time controller. Um, and control circuit relay, is that what I need? Nice. All right, so the other thing we're going to need is a time manipulator. Do hickey. So that's an absorber, which is crafted like so. So the absorber just needs four clocks. Well, now I've got two stacks of clocks. So that's good. I didn't know clocks stacked. I thought they were like compasses and they don't stack. Do compasses stack? Mm, no. Maybe. You wouldn't expect them to, right? So I think all I got to do for this is give it a redstone signal at noon. I can't remember that changed it's almost noon easiest way to find out if the mod changes it thank you yeah okay cool i think that might have changed that's funny, because like I just shift clicked to get four clocks, and I wound up with two stacks of clocks. <laughs> I have a lot of clocks nine. now. Clocks only stack 110. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's new. Come on, noon. Let's go. I want it to be noon. It's high noon. I know. It's high noon somewhere. Let's go. I'm trying to absorb the time. Absorb? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I saw that yes. earlier today and it kind of freaked me out. I was like, what is that? The absorbers? Yeah, I, I kind of figured it out as soon as I asked the question too. The yeah. first time. It's how you craft dimlets, which I think is kind of neat. Yep. It should totally be working probably about now. Time absorber. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Dimlet noon absorbed 20%. Awesome. So I think it's good now. It was, I expected it to be, oh yeah, no, you're cool. I, I had to break and replace it in order for it to work. But now it's totally there. Dimlet noon 20%. So that's cool. All right. So I need to get that again. It might, I might need the one probe to see that better. See all that lag that's happening right there? That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're moving. The one probe. Now if I could remember the hotkey for enabling the one probe, I would be in better shape. Controls, the one probe. Uh, V. Ah, okay. Well, that makes sense. Now we're talking. Okay. Hopefully, so what I'm going to do is this, and hopefully this works. Bear with me a moment, Soren. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> now let's wait for it to be noon again. 
So I learned something. If you flip the lever at the long, wrong time, you get you lose time percentage. So I was at 20%, now I'm at 10 because I flipped it early. I'm gonna try it now. All right, I got, now it's up to 20, so that's cool. It was still at 20 for me. Uh, the one probe shows you a more accurate representation. Wayla is uh. incorrect. So I think I need to sleep through the night again. Pass the day. But it was going to noon. I already I already captured noon for today. It wasn't noon yet. It was close enough, I think, that it captured it. I don't know what the bounds are, but it doesn't have to be perfectly noon, I don't think. So in addition to waiting for it to be noon, I want to make a void world dimlet. So let's do that. Uh, terrain dimlet void. Boom. Okay. So that should be cool. So it's a void world. Um, a biome controller? I want the single biome. We'll see what's involved in making it. Should be called single or something like that. Well, void, no wait, void is the terrain type, right? Uh, but single? Currently not craftable. Okay, let's try this, single. Yes, that is craftable. Nice. So single controller dimlet single. Rarity one is craftable controller dimlet default. So I want single. So we're going to need dimlet templates. We not have any sugarcane? Oh, right, because I had to disconnect. Uh, there was a bug. I had to disconnect this from the RS system. It's fixed in the next version of RS. Not a huge deal. Dimlet template three. So this should be a single biome controller. And I'm probably gonna want a planes biome or something like that. So I don't know which biomes I have in here. Can I search for biome and see? Uh, tundra, tropical island, ocean, moor, mesa, mega spruce, lush desert, lavender fields, grassland, glacier, forest hills, extreme hills, deep ocean. So, I mean, I could go like grassland. That would probably be cool. Grassland sounds like a good dimlet to go with, right? That's a lot of rain. Is it? I like. That's why I said desert earlier. <laughs> yeah, d lush desert. What's a lush desert? That's a good question. I feel like that probably has rain. I don't know. Do we have a desert biome like somewhere that I could go to? Material, terrain, feature, uh... time. My map's no longer absorber. Oh, but I might see. Well. I think that's close enough to noon, yes. right? South uh, of our south of us. Thirty percent now. Jiminy Jellickers. Uh East, north, south. Whoosh. This is a beach biome. I found beach. Is it just due south of us? Yeah, there's a mine track that follows it all the way to there. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think I found something. This is beach, this is ocean. I found a beach biome, but I don't know if that's desert. No, I mean, there's sand there. here, but. No, beach rains. Correct. Gonna find a desert biome. You didn't say old base, you said south of all I base. I said old base. <laughs> Absorb biome absorber. Absorb. Now this one you might be able to speed upgrade. Oh, yeah, it is. Totally working. 
Totally working. There you go. Thanks, buddy. That was kind of fun. You alright? Oh, there's a base over here. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> so McJD said he would let me pull items into here, by the way. But, um, so that's cool. So we're going to want a desert biome. So that's going to be rarity one stuff. So I just need the, uh, the one this thingy. And the terrain looking thing. So a green little lumpy dude. Biome modifier type. And it's one of these. Rarity one, guys. I think so. Nice. Look. Dimlet biome. Desert. Awesome. Uh, so in here is where I'm going to put stuff. This isn't the order that I necessarily want them to be in, but we'll get to the order. Um, so we've got that. We want to get it to be noon. Let's look at what other stuff I would want to have in here. So biomes we're not worried about, right? Um, we're not going to need about liquids or materials, frankly, because none of that matters. Uh, because it's going to be a void world, so it doesn't matter. Um, mobs are... I don't want mobs spawning outside the ordinary spawn rules, so we're not going to do any mobs in there. Uh, so that should be fine. The sky color? Oh yeah, we totally want black, right? Currently not craftable. Uh, I wonder if I can do black. Mob dim unknown. I don't think I can do black. Let's see what's in here. Nope. Man, I would totally like a black sky color. That would be awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I might cheat that in. If, there, if it's not craftable, then I feel like I'm well within my rights to cheat it in. Just saying. Um, this is also not craftable. I don't think any of these are craftable, are they? Yeah, some of them are totally not craftable. And it looks like the sky ones are. Because they don't have, like... I guess there's no good way to absorb that with absorbers. There's a couple of these that aren't implemented yet. Structures. We're not going to want any structures there. Uh, terrain, we already got covered as void. Features. I don't think we need any features, right? Time, we've got at noon. Digits are fine. Effects. I'm not going to really want any effects. And no specials either. Maybe efficiency, but I mean, it shouldn't be an expensive dimension to maintain, so. Um, biome controller, we've already got covered as single. Weather, I mean, if it's desert, it doesn't matter, right? But I could probably do no rain. Currently not craftable. Can I do, that's a terrain dimlet. So yeah, if I can't craft it, that's fine. I might just want black clouds, or black sky, and then that would be neat. So what I can do, totally cheating on camera. In my opinion, there's no legitimate way to get it, so I'm gonna cheat it. Just to make it look cool. Incoming Dyer's a Cheater comments. It's okay. I express the fact that there are legitimate times to cheat, and that was one of them. All right, so you are getting there. Uh, I want this to be, like, right at noon when I flip the lever, and I want to see if I get 10 or 20% out of this. All right, close enough to noon for me. 40%. Ah, it's going to take a while. All right, we'll be back after a few days of waiting till noon and then flipping the lever. All right, guys, I think this is it. 100%. Nice. So, into our basement we go with this bad boy. And... Time of noon. Awesome. Let me put this in there, and we get the noon dimlet. Perfect. All right. So, um, 
I just want to get my RF tools dimensions manual because I want to make sure that I'm doing this right, right? So RF tools dimensions manual. Um, Builder, getting there, shards of the world, coding the world. I have to remember which order they go in. So I'm thinking what I want to do is put the dimlet desert before the controller dimlet, terrain void, sky black, noon. That should be all we need. Can't think of any other dimlets that I would want in there. All right. So let's get ourselves an empty dimension tab. Check. Let's make it. And we're going to name this dude Dire Void Store. Nice. So uh, we can see in there by shift right clicking that is what it is. So now we want the dimension builder. So here's the one that Wild had. We're going to make it. Seems pretty straightforward. And then you're going to get a big zap of power. And then Dire Void should be ready to travel to. So let's make sure we have our home destination thing. Let's make Dire's basement teleport to Dire Void, ID 30. Dial it up. And teleport in my void, World Soren. Oh no. Oh no. I'm hoping it came out nice. We're gonna see. You don't know? Yeah, I totally got the black sky. That's cool. I mean, there's a few features out here. Notably, it looks like there's like bones. So, I don't know if I, I love mean, that existing. It. Yeah, it looks like we totally got bones for some reason. I don't know which mod is spawning that. Is that a mod? See what I mean by bones? I wonder if I remake this thing, if that'll help. I might try recreating it just to see what happens. It's a void world after all, so it's just that big a deal. Oh yeah, all my generators are on because uh, you are sucking up the power like crazy, buddy. So I should be able to pop this guy in here and extract him. And if I put a digit dimlet in there, like digit one, and create a new one, we'll call it Dire Void 2. Seems reasonable. Uh, and store that. Then you should be able to do your thing. You've got a little bit of power in there right now. So let's dial that up and see if we get bones this time. It's the tricky thing about making void dimensions. I really like them to be totally voided. And sometimes that doesn't help out. I also should have tested. I'm interested to see if like black fog is a thing. Because this fog stuff that we got going on, I'm not a fan of. So this time we got bones again, which is not cool. We also have mining fatigue and slowness, which is definitely not ideal. So my first dimension might have been the better one to go with. So what I'll probably do, so check this out. If I take this out and extract this and remove this and store it again, this should be linked back to Dire Void. Extract. Store. Yeah, see, current power is a lot. So that's the dimension. ID 30. Yeah, that's cool. So that should be linked back to ID 30. I want to modify you. Dimension subscriber. The one I want is the dimension editor. I 
I want some power conduits on this thing. Yeah, the bone structure is actually vanilla, apparently. Yeah, that's what I've gathered. It's a 1102 thing. Awesome. So, if I want fog, hey, where'd the, where do my, uh, you can't be that out of power, can you? What's up, power production? No fuel. None of that. Nutrient distillation. How come nutrient distillation is going in there? That should not be occurring. The other thing that shouldn't be occurring is we shouldn't be having a problem with our fluid tank. You are full on biodiesel. You are completely empty, which means you should be triggering this thing to run. Shouldn't you be kicking on, buddy? At what level do I have you kicking on? Less than 50. Yeah, you should be running right now. Reasons I need to move. A, breaking blocks is like a million years worth of chunk load. <laughs> and B, things just don't seem to be behaving super well right now. Let's just break all this and reconnect it and hopefully You want to behave now? All right, fluid ducks it is. So I figured out the problem is I had to unhook my farm earlier because of lag. And now we're putting zombie flesh instead of potatoes in here. And we don't have any potatoes in our system. Thus, that's a little bit of a problem. Well, we'll manage. These guys are running, so that's cool. Let's go sleep for the night too so that our solars can run at least. And we'll be all right for now. Uh, let's go ahead so do you have power now are you cool yes but you don't have power yet because we're probably waiting for this thing to fill up if I break you is that gonna be enough to get you to run it all right cool did you by chance have a fog you do not I would like black fog just to see what it looks like and same rules apply um, black fog is not craftable I presume So, black fog. Yay. Let's try editing this. So, realize dimension tab, black fog. Should not be a big ask right now. All right, cool. Uh, that looks good. I like it. Uh, let's put you in here then, which you'll be eating up a bunch of power for a little bit, but it'll refill itself eventually. And let's redial you back to receiver is too far to highlight. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Dial. I thought double clicking would dial, but I guess not. All right, let's check it out. Did the black fog make any difference? Time will tell. Oh yeah, it did. That's what's up. That's super what's up. Dude, that made a big difference. Now, should I do black clouds or should I just go to video settings and turn off clouds? Yeah. Soren, my dimension's even cooler now. Really? 
Yeah. I uh, you can edit dimensions. You can only edit mm -hmm. things that aren't world gen, but fog counts. So totally awesome. I edited the fog color to make it black. Oh. And now it looks really cool. Doesn't that, that make nice. a huge difference? It makes all the difference in the world, yeah. right? Lost. What's that? That's gonna help me get lost. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much the plan. So I have a bunch of stuff that I want to do for a whole new base. Let's come back in a minute. All right, guys. So we've hit the wrapping up point for the episode. I think what we're going to do is relocate our base next episode. So next episode will be probably using the builder to build things. What are you doing in my dimension? Don't don't question me. I'm questioning you. No questioning. I claimed it. Questions are happening. Uh, this is, this is my dimension, buddy. What is going on here? I was trying to get the dimensional thing working. Oh, the dimensional upgrade? Yeah, I didn't want to... Is it working? So I thought I needed a controller, and that's not true either. No, you shouldn't need a controller. Hmm. How do you like my world? My world. <laughs> Your world. Our world? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Are you gonna, maybe. Are you going to be laggy? Yes. Not intentionally. Yes. I just eight seconds ago found a giant source of lag <laughs> on the server that was all your build. Yes. It was using 30% of the CPU. Do you, do you remember why I built it over at the old base? So I want lag 30 out 30% of the threat. It, it's tick rate. Old base, new base don't I matter. But it does affect rendering, which is slightly different. <laughs> So, I lag one thing of you, not both. Stop. <laughs> We're in. Okay. Oh, you my even goodness. said it was an interesting build when you looked at it before. <laughs> I want it to be clean and neat, and I want it to be like super efficient and lag free. If, if you can follow those Desire rules, one. my good sir, then perhaps oh, you may one. join me in the Void Age. Okay. But I'm the boss of the Void Age. I don't want to log in tomorrow and see, like, a thousand things there. <laughs> you matter everywhere. Yes, that's what I don't want to see. Oh. You may join me in the Void Age, but... I mean... <gasps> I plan to be building my base next episode, so... We'll see. We'll see! Alright. See? Yeah, we'll see. Letter Q. Letter, Letter C. C. All right, for now, wrapping up point, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episodes. Uh, back next time uh, with stuff and things and getting a void age ready to be lived in. All right, guys, take it easy.